Hi, my name is Andy Atherton, an automation specialist at Kendall Electric. Traceability has become very important for industry, and it is my pleasure to show you how to use FTP, that's File Transfer Protocol, to archive images and inspection results from your sensor part visor to a computer running an FTP server. Let's jump right in. The first thing you need is an FTP server software. I'm using FileZilla version 0.9.60.2, though you can use any FTP server. FileZilla is an open source software package, so it is free to download and to use. If you're using FileZilla, they offer both a client and a server, so be sure that you download the server. Once you have downloaded the server and installed it on the destination computer, it will need to be configured. I will demonstrate a very basic configuration. You may want to consult your IT professional for more advanced configuration to assure the safety and security of your network. Start by opening the FileZilla administration interface. A connection dialog will open. Here you will specify the computer on which the server resides. Use localhost if the server resides on the computer you are currently logged into. The port number which is used only for server administration, and a password if desired. I will leave all of these at their defaults. Click Connect. The dialog will close, and the administration interface will be visible, and you should see that you were logged in. Based on the computer you are using and your network, you may see warnings. Consult your IT professional for assistance with those as needed. Now the server needs to be configured. Click the Edit menu in the administration interface and select Settings. This will open a dialog where the behavior of the server can be defined. I will leave all of these settings at their defaults for this demonstration. You may want to ask your IT professional for configuration assistance. The first change we need to make is to add a user. Again, click the Edit menu and select User. The Users dialog opens. At the right side of the dialog, click Add. Another dialog will open where you will assign a name for the user. When the name is added, click OK. You will now see it added to the list of users and the Enable Account checkbox should be checked. By clicking the Password checkbox, you can add a login password. I'll add Visor underscore FTP. When the password is accepted, the Shared Folders tab should open. If it doesn't, click to open it. At least one folder needs to be added, so click the Add button and a navigation dialog will open. Navigate to the desired location and click OK. You can set the permissions for each folder added. I will set the permissions as shown. Click OK and the dialog will close. Depending on how the software was installed, you may need to start the server. This can be done manually from the FileZilla program group in the Windows Start menu if it is not already running. Now I can set up the FTP functionality in Visor. I have an inspection already programmed in Visor to read a data matrix code. Selecting the Output step and the Archiving tab reveals settings for FTP of images and results. I'll select FTP as the archive type and set the IP address of the computer running the server. I'll enter the username and password we specified in the FTP server setup. Next, a choice of result and image files to be archived needs to be set. Any refers to those that pass or fail. Pass is only when the inspection passes, and fail is only when the inspection fails. I'll set these to any. The storage mode lets you choose the scheme for images and results to be archived. The choice of Limit or Cyclic will enable the box to the right of it, which specifies the number of files to archive. Limit will stop after the number of files is reached, and Cyclic will begin overwriting the files when the limit is reached. Unlimited allows archiving of files until it is manually stopped. The directory name Pass and Fail are subdirectories of the shared directory into which the files will be written. Since I gave the permission to create directories in the shared folder setup, 
I don't need to create these directories manually. The file name field sets the name of the files that will be saved. You can type a name into the field and then add additional information to the file name with the add expression drop list. The information in the result files comes from the Telegram tab. Select the information you want in the result file and the rest is handled for you. Results will be saved in comma separated value files. Now click on Start Sensor, trigger the inspection, and we see in the administration interface information about the transfer, and if I look in the directory, the two files are present. Archiving images and inspection results are an easy way to add traceability to your vision inspection. Hopefully this video shows you how easy it can be. The most difficult part is configuring the FTP server to assure that your connection, data, and network are secure. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information about SensorPart Visor, please contact your Kendall account manager or automation specialist. Please visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next Kendall Quick Connection video.